Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. Okay, so we're going to be doing a skill review for both Fox and Violet. Take note that both of them have um, eerily similar kits. So there is little difference to them. Both of them are specializing in something which I'll explain later. So let's start off with uh, taking a look at their individual skills. But I won't go into detail much on on the text rather than i'll do a comparison of um, i you know of both of them so we're going to be discussing everything every attribute so skill uh, active skill chain combo equipment and also the other at attributes up here so including um fox so both of them i'll be comparing um in terms of skill set very 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 similar probably 80 percent of their skill sets are very similar so that uh, let's take a look at the differences okay so as you can see here i've made a chart on the differences element uh violet is fire fox is water uh class detonator both of them are detonators so um in their class definitely it's going to be very very full for fire, you have Sinsa, you have Charon. For water, you have Azure, obviously, and others there, other detonators there that are occupying that space. So definitely, both of them would be secondary detonators. They won't be your primary detonators. Um, Attack-wise for Violet is uh, 3130. Fox is 3207. Okay, cooldown, by the way, for active skill for Violet is going to be 3, while for Fox is going to be 2. Both have preemptive strike. Okay, so active skill, I'm just going to read here from um, from their um, cheat sheet. Uh, both of them enter the battlefield with a special skill. So uh, then they deal, this is that 230% for Violet at uh, 13 grids with a diamond shape. While for Fox is going to be 250% damage. This is going to be um, for Fox 250 damage with uh, damage to two surrounding clusters. Okay, nine stacks of exploit weakness will be will be dealt. Okay, and uh, if it's their element of um, you know if they have an advantage uh, for that element, it's uh, for Violet. It's going to be forest, of course, and for fox, it's going to be fire. So it's going to be double stacks for enemy, uh, for element um, that there are that they are strong um, against. Okay, so damage dealt to all enemies according to the number of P5R collaboration characters will be deployed. Deals more, more damage to enemies with weak status and dispels all weak status. When all enemies have weak status, a special skill di display is triggered. Exploit weakness. Enter weak status after gaining 100 stacks of exploit weakness. So that is part of their active skill. So again, kind of similar... Um, for the attack, by the way, I forgot to mention Violet has 3130, Fox has 3207, which is on the low side. So again, they will just be secondary detonators. I don't think they could compete with the top detonator. You could put two detonators on your team, by the way. But again, the other should have a utility. The secondary one should have a utility to increase their value. So chain combo. As you can see here, this I just summarized it because it was too similar. So 5, 9, 13, 5, 9, 13 as well for Fox, 130, 130, 145, and same also for Fox, 130, 130, 145. So both for Violet and Fox. So the difference is even the damage is going to be one column, three columns, three columns, and also with Fox here in comparison with Violet. The only difference is the two stacks of exploit weakness. This is one, three, two, four, and three. Okay, so Fox has um, lesser more stacks to give or to place versus Violet. And um, if it's a element that they're strong against, obviously double the stacks. So that is the difference. So in terms of equipment, this is where it gets interesting. 
I'm going to go first with each normal attack deals um, exploit weakness, uh, one stack of exploit weakness for forest. And um, of course, for fox, it's going to be uh, what they call this. It's going to be one as well and two for fire. So member captain, member to captain in terms of captain swap, violet gains 20% increased normal attack for the round. While for Fox, he only gains 15%. And this is where they are more specialized in. I'll just highlight this guy so that you will be able to see this. Violet increases all damage dealt to enemies inflicted with weak status by 20%. So what does that mean? So this is a global effect for all of team all of the team members. Increases all damage dealt to enemies uh, inflicted with weak status by 20 percent so i'm not sure um i'm kind of on the 80 percent that this is going to be a global effect this is going to um affect other teammates as well um with uh, the same uh, what they call this with uh, with P p5r um abilities so hopefully this is going to be a global effect because this is going to be good this is an increase of 20 percent Take note, 20%, okay, damage inflicted, damage dealt to enemies inflicted with weak status. Okay, and for Fox, it's going to be first normal attack every round, deals three times amount of, of damage dealt and inflicts three times the exploit weakness stacks. So for him, this is, I think, just for him. The first normal attack for every round deals first normal attack. So first attack per enemy is three times. So if you have if you have um, five enemies, the first attack each of those enemies. Okay, and this I think is only applicable to Fox. So that is it, guys. So both of them definitely won't, won't you know won't be making headlines in terms of their kit they are both um support especially for violet because of this equipment the uh, line or status for fox not so much so for either of them if you are you know selecting on who you want to you know to get as because again uh, P5R will have their own will have their own synergies as a team. So for me, I'd go with Violet based on what she has, and um, even for the stacks, she has bigger stacks. But take note that her cooldown is three, so you might want to take in that into consideration as well. But both will definitely be sub. Your, or your second detonators for the team. They won't be your primary detonators. There are a lot of detonators in their element for fire and water. It's stacked, and I don't think they could compete with the primary detonator spot. So that is it, guys. So this is the comparison for both. Um, again, their kits are more engineered towards, um, towards the synergy for P5R. So if you're expecting that um, all the five stars would the uh, five star um, Aurorians for P5R would be very good, don't expect that because they will be specialized in using them with the team. They won't work much, so much if you use them individually, but they will work better if you have multiple p5r aurorians in your team so again choose wisely i would go with violet for this one um i would not go with fox for this one um i'm just gonna be going back to what do you call this to the banners that we have so upcoming banners just gonna show you guys this so take note that now that you know that Fox and uh, Viol uh, Violet's um, advantages, they both of them will be placed in a different uh, banner. So Fox is going to be with Queen, and Violet is going to be with Joker. Let's you know. Let's hope that um, we could choose between Joker and and Queen, because right now, if for example. Um, we're gonna choose Violet, but um, out of the two six star, 
Queen is the best, then that's going to be a problem because she's going to be in a different banner together with Fox. So you'll have to be content with pulling for Joker and Violet and Queen and Fox. So that is it, guys. So hopefully I'll see you in the next uh, review for Queen and for Joker. And uh, if you have comments in this video, please put them down in the comment section below. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.